All right, Chris, thank you very much. In our commitment 2022 coverage now, election results for races in Greenville County did not get reported in full until after 4 o'clock this morning. Our Rashad Williams is joining us live, breaking down what some told us was chaos and confusion at Greenville County Square yesterday. Rashad? Well, chaos and confusion is exactly the way that it was described to me, but we've learned um, that here at the polling sites, there were two reasons uh, for some of the delays, the hour long, hours long delays, excuse me, and both of them have to do with technology. The cause of delayed election results in Greenville County started around 9.30 p.m. because of an encrypted thumb drive. We read in 3,600 ballots to that thumb drive and it corrupted. Those mail-in absentee ballots on the thumb drive had to be reprocessed on a new encrypted thumb drive and that took hours. The director of elections for Greenville County says they didn't want to get caught up with the idea of having to meet a print or media deadline, so they took as long as they needed to protect the integrity and accuracy of the results. However, the hours long line wrapped around the building at County Square throughout the day was not caused by the thumb drive corruption. Almost 400 people through here yesterday through this office with address changes. We probably have another thousand of voters who did address changes at their polling place. I ended up not being able to vote yesterday. Taylor Oliver has been living at her current address for more than five years, but she ran into an issue with her voter registration, like so many others that reached out to WIFF4 on Tuesday. Two of the poll workers looked at me and said, well, there's been a glitch in the system all day with the DMV. Those addresses are not sinking. She stood in line at three polling sites trying to pinpoint why her current address didn't match the one in the system. They told me there was another form I could fill out but I was not gonna be able to vote for any of the local officials that I could vote at a federal and state level. After several hours went by, Oliver says she simply ran out of time. I don't think it's fair to local voters. I don't think it's fair to those running for local offices to not allow everybody to cast a vote if they are a taxpayer and legitimately are living in a place where they are entitled to cast that vote. And Conaway says avoiding DMV issues ultimately comes down to the voter double checking all of their information ahead of time. Live in Greenville County, Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4.